Hi folks, I'm Ian Baker, the product specialist here at American RV in gorgeous Grand Rapids, Michigan. Today I'm here to tell you all about the 2017 Lance 825. Now Lance considers this a half ton model. Personally, my recommendation, I would probably go three quarter or larger. Uh, it is built to go on a six and a half foot box. Let's go ahead and start on the outside here, make our way around and then we'll head on in. Uh, take a look up front, Lance has done some nice things to their graphics, I think they did a good job, nice and streamlined, good color combos as well, matches a lot of today's trucks. So you come underneath here, make our way into the bulkhead, you'll see that it does have Atwood heavy duty jacks on all four corners, they are powered, remote of course is inside. Uh, right here is your rain trough, so any kind of rain water that comes down on the camper doesn't drop down into your, uh, the bed of your truck, naturally just runs right off to the sides. Then right here you see the Teflon strips, that way when you do move it into the truck, uh, it doesn't slam into the back of the truck. Also allows for a couple different types of connection systems, whether you use happy jack or if you use torque lift. You'll see right there is a window, so that way you can access the inside of the camper, just open up the back of your pickup and you're good to go. Come around to the side here, two outside speakers, those are controlled by your multimedia center inside, but they are Bluetooth capable. So if you want to sit out here, whether you're on this side, the back side, whatever it may be, you can go ahead and use your smartphone or your tablet, connect to that via Bluetooth and control your music from outside. Beautiful frameless windows on here. I love the windows that uh, Lance uses. The cool thing about frameless windows is that they, uh, one, you can keep them open while it's raining because of the action they open. Two, they look a heck of a lot nicer. And three, because the seals themselves are tucked behind the glass, that means you will get more longevity and life out of those windows. Uh, they are also dual pane windows on this coach, making the coach four season capable. To make our way to the back of the 825, uh, you'll see that right here, we do have some LED porch lights, which is nice. Uh, awning back here as well, so if you want to make camp right back here, you can go ahead and put the awning out and set up your chairs right in the back here. Keyless entry to get into the coach is very cool, so if you forget your keys or lock them inside, it is very easy to uh, go ahead and use that to get in. Then right down here as we take a look, the battery on this coach is inside, it's, they don't have a separate door, so what they do is they give you this little charging uh, center right there, so it is nice and easy to go ahead and charge the battery. Right here you have your two standard 120 volts, so if you need to plug anything in, you can nice and easily do so. Uh, this door, you see this has magnetic latch, which is nice, so it sticks up very easily. Then right in there is everything for your termination, so if you need to go ahead and uh, dump out your black and gray tanks, it is very easy to access. Two steps to get into the coach here, easy or foldable easy grab handle as well. Uh, great ladder on the Lance. I love the ladder they use. It's nice and thick. It's one of those ladders where you don't feel like you're going to constantly fall off. Uh, just climb right up there. You feel safe. That way if you need to get up on the roof for any kind of maintenance or get up there for a better vantage point, you can go ahead and do so. You'll see right there, there's the four season certification as I mentioned. This is for your sewer hose. Nice easy place to store it right there. Gotta love that. Then as you make our way around to the other side here, we'll go ahead and open this up for you. Again, magnetic latch. You can take a look there. Nice big storage area, which is great. Secondary storage here. Also, you have some access to your valves there. Outside shower right here with both hot and cold access. You can see the little hand wand that pulls out. 30 amp detachable power cord. Right here is your furnace. Uh, water heater. Take the tape off from the manufacturer. That will open up into your 20 pound propane tank. Uh, a couple other quick things about Lance. When it comes to construction, Lance is one of the best out there in truck campers. They have a, a very well-known reputation. Uh, part of the reason is they use a Lance Lock system, which is really cool. If you're not familiar with it, if you haven't been on Lance's website at all, uh, the Lance Lock system essentially is a metal extrusion that instead of having just a screw to screw the wall into the floor, they use that metal extrusion so that holds all the weight. Screws are meant to screw things together. They don't have much shear strength. Strength. So and a lot of manufacturers just screw it together that you know that's what you're working against that shear strength We can shear the screws off having that metal extrusion all the weight is on that extrusion again Just making it a much safer system a much more robust uh, system that Lance uses on their truck campers as well But that pretty much wraps it up for the outside folks. Let's go take a look at the inside Welcome to the inside of the 2017 Lance 825. This particular model is in the Arrowhead interior. 
One of the big advantages of having a truck camper without a slide out is it's easy to go ahead and come right in and access the refrigerator or the bathroom. So you'll see right here the bathroom is on a barn style door, just slides right open like so. And it is plenty large. It is a full wet bath. You can see the shower pan there, uh, your toilet foot, uh, foot flush lever, the toilet paper holder, and of course your hand wand to shower. You'll also notice uh, up top you have a couple different options. You see the uh, fan up top, the LED light, nice big skylight with a hatch cover on there, and also a bar going across. That bar is in case you don't want to use the shower, you don't use it very often, you can use that as extra hanging space, which is very nice. A lot of people have already done this, but they've had to do it with tension rods so it's nice that Lance put something in there that's a little more permanent. Then right over here great space as soon as you come in again extra wardrobe space never mind all the stuff in here so some of the stuff that comes to manufacture your hatch covers uh, chemicals for your toilet and a couple other things in there as well. Um, your control, your remote for your jacks are right down here, and then some of your light controls are right here, mainly for your exterior, which again is very nice. Uh, coming into the kitchen area, you can see a large countertop in this unit, which is great. Good prep space right in the center here, and they also give you a sink top cover, so you can use that as prep space as well. And this is also cutting board quality, so if you want to flip it over, use it as a cutting board, by all means do so. Single bowl sink in here, and then a high rise faucet to make it a little bit easier to go ahead and wash dishes. You see you do have a window there which is great so as you're washing dishes you can go ahead and look out the window uh, or it, you know even if you just have it open it lets in a lot of natural light during the day which is great. Then at night you have LED light right here and actually on the ceiling you have LED lights throughout the entire coach. Uh, as we take a look up top, a couple quick things here. Uh, one, if we open this up, you can see the great storage in there, nice pantry space. Also, Lance uses a positive latch system on here, which is cool. So what happens is when this is shut, you know, you're not gonna have anything that hits this and makes it fly open. Also, it's a hidden latch, which is kind of cool, so it's a very clean look. Then you can go ahead, of course, open it up and access everything in here. Also, all the cabinetry in here is CNC cut. If you take a look at the ceiling line here, you will notice that it meets right up with the ceiling. Most manufacturers can't do that. They have to use what's called gimp molding, which essentially just hides imperfections. So it definitely goes to show you the uh, quality that Lance puts into their units. And also the light ply is extremely strong and durable while being lightweight. You can pound on this stuff and see that it's they're not gonna cause any damage, uh, just very strong. Everything in here is essentially made almost to residential standards where they will actually groove everything out so everything meets right into each other uh, again helping strengthen all the cabinetry in here multimedia center right here in the center this controls your speakers inside as well as speakers outside they do put Jensen in here which is top name brand in RVs uh, also Bluetooth capable radio CD and DVD player so if you want to watch a movie just go ahead and pop it in and you can watch it on the TV microwave right here there's the weight of the unit 1837 pounds underneath is your fully functional hood with the light and a fan two burner cooktop on here as well uh, as I mentioned great countertop you can see you have a back splash here then as you shoot underneath you will see you have access right there to your hot water heater uh, your by your bypass valve is there so for winterization you can go ahead and bypass the water heater so you don't fill it with glycol of course our heater there and two full extension drawers you can take a look at the drawers here uh, this does have the silverware tray already built in it go ahead and open that one up uh, one other thing I do like to mention full ball full extension ball bearing drawers but they're also slow close so if you shove this in whoops shove it in rather just like that goes nice and slow so it's really cool you don't have to worry about them banging uh, has that nice magnetic close on there so again just kind of showing you the extra quality that Lance puts into their campers then over to the side key ring here uh, your clock up there as well it's always nice to know what time it is and then this is pretty cool so this is storage you can go ahead and open this up see that it is good storage but this is also a bunk this piece of wood helps create that bunk I'll go ahead and drop it down for you uh, but it just gives you you know multi-use if you want to use it as storage by all means do so if you want to make it a bunk go ahead and drop this down you'll see that it's just held up right here this board will lay over these doors so you don't fall out now it's not a huge bunk uh, I'd recommend it more for a child but it does give you extra sleeping space or if you just need bigger storage area you can go ahead and drop this down you can just as easily you know still fit in the dinette you know we don't have a ton of room back here but uh, it is still doable so that way if you have guns fishing poles something like that you want to put up there you can certainly use it for that as well 
Then underneath that, a nice big window that's in a ton of natural light there, magazine rack off to the side as well. And you'll see the large U dinette. So this is great, excellent seating here. Uh, if you need extra sleeping capacity, this table leg right here does come out, table drops down, you can go ahead and fill it in with cushions, and that does create an extra sleeping space there. So definitely very neat. All right, let's head up front. We'll take a look at the bed area. So as we take a look in the cab over, you don't want to forget about our fridge right here. Uh, Norcold fridge, you can see it has a drop down freezer tray there. I personally not like Norcold, it's built right here in the US and this has plenty of space for what you will need. Also your controls are right up here. So nice easy controls right there, your thermostats. Um, again, they're right there on the outside. Then as we take a look up front, queen bed right here. You can see you have windows on either side, which allows for great cross breeze. Uh, some extra storage here on both sides as well, which is really nice. Shelving unit up top. That's definitely a big feature there. It allows for a lot of uh, great extra storage. Two speakers up there, which again are connected to that multimedia center. LED reading lights as well as a ceiling light. Fantastic fan right here. That is literally fantastic. If you don't want to turn on your AC, you can turn that on, open up some windows, and you really get a nice breeze coming through here. You will notice this also has the buttons for your latch covers, which uh, hatch covers rather, which again do come with the unit. Then right over here is your TV. It is on a swing arm mount, so if you want to swing that out and around, you certainly can. Uh, but again, Jensen TV, so whether you're sitting in bed or on the dinette, you can go ahead and watch that. Last but not least, this is something that's pretty neat too. If you lift up the mattress, you will see they have heat foil here. Uh, so again, just helps insulate, you know, helps keep the cold out, helps keep the warmth in. Just a nice extra feature. All right, folks, that's pretty much going to wrap it up. Uh, again, this is the uh, 2017 Lance 825. This is a great truck camper if, you know, if you're looking for something uh, that's high-end, high quality. As I said, Lance mentions they say you can put this on a half ton. I personally probably wouldn't. I'd probably go three-quarter ton or larger. Uh, but if you have, you know, three-quarter ton short bed, this is a great camper. It may not have the extra space because of the slide, but the advantage of that, you can get in at any time. You have full capability to use everything in this coach. You can enter the bathroom, you can get into the fridge, everything you want to do. Uh, and you know this camper will last you a lifetime. If you are interested and you'd like price and availability, you can either give myself, Ian Baker, a call here at American RV, or you can take a look at our website, which is AmericanRV.com, for the most up-to-date information. Also, if you enjoyed this tour, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. That will be one of the first to see the latest and greatest from us here at American RV. Thanks again for watching. I'm Ian Baker, and I can't wait to see you on the road to freedom.